All right, we're going to talk about some vehicle combatives. You guys ready? So we're going to jump in the vehicle and we're going to talk about what to do if there's an attack or there's a threat um, when you're in your vehicle. Before we get into this, we have to understand that the number one thing we can do when it comes to vehicle combatives is to drive. So everything I'm about to say from here on out is I can't drive, I can't get away, and now, crap, I'm stuck in this metal box and I have to deal with the situation. So utmost importance, this goes into our evasive driving and all that stuff, which is gonna be in another, uh, another topic, another series. But we wanna keep that safe space between us and the other vehicles around us when we come to traffic stops and other times when we're maneuvering the vehicle. So that way we can, if we see a threat coming, maneuver off the, what we call the X or the, the, the site of the threat so we can get away. So in this case, if we can't get away, now we're stuck in this, in this vehicle. And before we go into all the action steps, it's important for us to understand why is it so dangerous to be stationary within the vehicle and when we start understanding ballistics and, um, and what the rounds do upon impact of the vehicle itself or the windows and the glass, then it starts to give us a better understanding of who's got the better odds. So from a sniper perspective or when we're shooting through an object's perspective, I, as the shooter, want my target to be within three feet of the object that I'm trying to shoot through. And in this case, it would be the glass or the door. So if the object is within three feet of this, there's enough, it's close enough that any deviation or deflection of the round gives me a probability that I could still hit the target. Once I start getting past three feet, the angle as it opens up, it may make me miss the target that I'm aiming at. And I'm gonna demonstrate this here in a few minutes. So if we look at this exchange, if you have the blue target over there, right? I don't know if you can see that, but we have the blue target over here. So if, if I shoot through the window, or if the blue target shoots through the window, who's in closer proximity to the glass? I am in this case, right? So just based on deflection, that person there has the higher probability of hitting me in the car than I do of hitting them outside the car. And that glass is pretty much perpendicular, it's straight up and down. If you look at this angle here of the windshield, the deflection that I have if I'm aiming at someone's upper chest or their head, the deflection that I have is putting the round up. See this angle? So the round's gonna come through and the round wants to go perpendicular, right? It's not gonna go 90 degrees perpendicular, but that's the way it most likely will start to edge the round. So if I'm aiming at someone's upper chest or their head, this deflection can put it right over top of their head, right? Where if they're coming in, their deflection's going to put it down, which if they're aiming at my chest or my head and it deflects down, they have my whole entire torso that it can hit inside the driver's seat. With this also is I'm within that three feet of the windshield and if they're standing at the end of the hood of the car, they're most likely well past three feet away. Not that I won't hit them, not that the round can't go exactly where I wanted it to, sometimes that happens, but based on just raw like chances or statistics, that person has the higher probability because they're further away from the glass that we're shooting through than I do because they also have a bigger target and I'm within three feet. So I hope that's making sense to why this is so important, right? The last thing of this, I mean, there's a lot of aspects to this, but the, the, these are the primary ones. If I'm sitting in the chair with my seatbelt on, or maybe I have my seatbelt off, it doesn't matter. I'm sitting in the driver's seat I'm stationary. The bad guy, as I'm aiming at them, they have the ability to move left or right. They can be a moving target while I'm trying to shoot through the glass when the glass shatters out and I can't see through it because the glass is all broken and it's very hard to visually see through. They know where the driver's seat is. I can walk around the car and constantly know where the driver is within the vehicle because they're stationary. As I bust, bust out the glass, like if you look at this, you know, and you're trying to visually see through this, you know what I mean? And not that I can't see through it, but as I'm trying to see through that, 
if my bad guy is moving continuously shooting towards the driver's seat, right? I might be missing because I'm aiming at the wrong spot because it's very hard for me to see them. So they can be a moving target. I'm stationary. I'm within three feet. The angles that are coming into me makes my target bigger. Where there's it makes it smaller. So this is just a total crap spot to be in. That's why I emphasize the number one thing we can do is drive. The number two thing we can do is get out of the car. Number three would be engaged from within the vehicle. So right now we're not covering the driving, that's in another topic. So let's go into talking about getting out of the vehicle. 